everyone so i'm really excited about today's video i haven't been filming and i really apologize i've been super super busy um and it's not like i'm super consistent when i'm posting anyways but um a lot of people have been asking me to film a new video so today i figured i would go ahead and do that um i'm just so excited because <laughs> i have something really cool to talk about with you guys and just a little update on some new pieces. So without further ado, let's get into it. So if you have been watching my videos, you know that I am absolutely obsessed with pink lithium. Um, pink lithium quartz is absolutely gorgeous and it is a little bit rare um, compared to other things. So luckily though, the mines are open. So they have been coming out with a lot more pieces, people are um, selling it a lot more, and my main Pink Lithium girls have been providing for me <laughs> and a lot of the girls that I follow on Instagram because we are all Pink Lithium queens. Um, these are all of my Pink Lithium tumbles that I have, and I'm normally not a tumble person, but I really, really, really love those pieces because they just, they're just so cute. Um, and so I have a little bit of new pink lithium to show you guys, as well as a really cool update. So I'm going to start with this piece right here. I do have some that are this color, um, like that piece right there and kind of this piece right here. Just a really, really beautiful grape mauve color and... Um, what I really, really like about pink lithium sometimes is there are like little sparkles in the lithium. And then I love the phantoms. I'm not quite sure if this one has phantoms or not. I haven't inspected her enough. Um, normally I'm super particular about like flaws and inclusions like this. Um, this looks like either iron or hematite. Um... But I, I do make exceptions for pink lithium because it is just really hard to find. Even though the mines are open now, um, a lot of times it's, it's really hard to find a beautiful, perfect piece with no flaws. And um, if I can display it one way without you seeing the flaws, then I buy it. So um, there's this really, really adorable piece right here. This is like a super like cherry red, like dark cherry red. Um, I only have, I believe, one or two pieces that are this color. And she has rainbows, little fractures, and yes, she does have a couple flaws. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I just dropped it. One sec. I almost couldn't find that. <laughs> I was like on the ground for like 15 minutes trying to find it. Um, I hate when that happens, but yes, this piece is super, super cute, and I'm, I don't know why, but I'm a sucker for really, really tiny um, points, so I do have a few that are larger. I'll show you. This one is my largest piece, and in comparison, there's that, and I just, I don't know what it is. I just really, um, since pink lithium already comes in kind of smaller um smaller pieces I really just love 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 the tiniest pieces like this one right here was my tiniest I'm gonna try and and get it to focus um this one was my tiniest piece until I got these three babies so I'm gonna go ahead I, it's kind of hard <laughs> to handle these with nails so I deeply apologize if I'm just like, um, it looks like I'm struggling. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and put these side by side. That one's a little taller than my, my first tiny baby. But here they are. And they're all super, super tiny. And I just, oh, I'm so in love. Um, with these pieces like I seriously <laughs> I don't know what it is but I honestly think these are like some of my favorite pieces now and I really like the color of this one 
they're all really nice and saturated. Um, this one will continue to be my favorite just because of that really cute little lithium face um, that she has. <clears throat> but yes, I do. I just absolutely love these. And they do have some flaws on there. But again, um, you can display it perfectly fine um, turned around where you can't see the flaws. So I'm in love <laughs> to say the least. Now, the fun part is going to be getting these back in here. <laughs> um, so I'm probably going to have to do that after the video. This piece right here um, actually came with this piece from, I believe, I'll, I'll link her down below. I'll link down my favorite pink lithium shops, um, or at least their, their Instagram usernames. Um, but this one is just so cute. I love the color. Like, oh, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Nothing really to say about it except for that. So, this piece right here is a talking point because she has this inner child, I believe it's called. And it's where, you know, it looks like there's a point, um growing inside of the quartz. This is an indentation, so I'm not sure if that changes things and makes it not an inner child, but I just thought that that was so cool because it looks like another point was growing inside of the point. <laughs> um, and then the color of it, I really like how, you know, on the side it looks clear, and then when you turn it around, it's like this beautiful um, bubblegum pink. And this is my first raw pink lithium. I'm so excited because normally I really don't like raw, um, raw anything. <laughs> a lot of my stuff is polished and I've only recently been collecting like more raw pieces like that and like that and, um, yeah, this is such a special piece and a, um, just, just really special. I'm just so happy. Um, and I got this from also another girl on Instagram who really just has grown my collection and she's made a huge contribution to my collection so i'm just so excited and yeah pink lithium is the best it's honestly one of my favorite crystals now besides rose quartz and pink amethyst so um i'm just gonna say i'm gonna like say something about this because it's just really cute <laughs> i have like these little stickers of um kind of natural sceneries and like skies and water and so I just put it in this cute little frame and I don't know it just like it adds so much every little piece of decor that I have really just adds so much to me um this is the elephant in the room at least for me <laughs> um my best friend actually got this for me for Christmas and I've had this in my Etsy saved for quite a while now um, and I seriously almost cried when she gave it to me. I was like, oh my god, because if you don't know, <clears throat> vintage compacts from, like, the Art Deco period, um, they are super expensive <laughs> unless you can find them, you know, in local shops and not, um, you know, online, because the ones online are very expensive, um, they're just really pricey, and they are hard to find, and this particular one, we literally searched everywhere, like, when I first found this, I searched everywhere for it, and this was the only one we could possibly find, and when I tell you we're good at finding things, and witch hunts and whatnot, we <laughs> are really good, so, um, you guys hopefully already know if you've been watching my videos that I just love, you know, uh, Mother of Pearl. I have it on like a majority of my stands. I'm trying to see. Um, there's one down here. My moon stand right here. So this really is such a special piece because <clears throat> it is Mother of Pearl. And oh, isn't that just absolutely beautiful? Now I'm going to open it up and show you the inside. If I can with one hand, I might have to. I might have to take it here. I'm going to pause. Okay. I got her open and this piece 
is so mint condition like seriously um this sticker right here is so important because kcraft um they do have a couple other compacts online from kcraft but it's just so hard it's so hard to find i don't know what it is but um again if you've been watching my videos you know that i absolutely love vintage makeup like for instance these right here are perfume bottles this this dollhouse i've mentioned it before this really cute little sheep right here um i have these powder sachets right here and so you know that i this is my new obsession <laughs> and in my future videos i am probably going to incorporate um vintage makeup because it is something that i've been passionate about and this piece right here i've had for longer than i've been crystal collecting actually um this is from the 40s and this is by the brand elmo um i actually opened this up i might have to pause again <laughs> It's hard to do things one-handed with a phone here. Let me use my mouth. Okay, yeah, that's not working. I'm gonna pause. So this piece is really, really old. So a lot of the silver is coming off of the glass in the back. And I actually refilled it with my own lipstick. And a lot of people would really just snarl at me for that um, because a lot of vintage makeup collectors, they like to keep what is in there in there and not mess with it. But I really just love this piece and I got it from my grandmother um, when I was looking through her stuff after she passed and I just, uh, I love this and I use it all the time. So, yes, I am just so so happy to own this piece and if i open it up for you guys here i know this part won't be hard because it's spring spring activated if i can just there we go you open this up and it's supposed to be a loose powder in here maybe if i can get this out oh it's just a struggle isn't it <laughs> um so a lot of the pieces in here are loose just because it is so old but this is what it would look like if you were um a gal in the 40s through 60s i'm assuming this was i have to do more research on it but yes i'm just so happy i'm so happy to own this and thanks to my best friend um i finally own one <laughs> um Hopefully in the future, I will be purchasing more vintage compacts and showing you guys my um, collection journey. So yeah, I'm just so, so happy about that. And I have them displayed on my crystal shelf and that is what I plan to do. I plan to keep collecting and displaying here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it was a short one, but I just wanted to give you an update and kind of hang out with you guys. Oh, you know what? I should probably mention this. This is the last time you guys are ever going to see this fear. <laughs> you probably think I'm crazy um, when I say that, but in my last video, I mentioned that she was for sale and someone, um, this really, really sweet girl has been saving up for a couple weeks now to get her and I just really admire her hard work and yeah I'm I'm really excited and it's a bittersweet moment for me because this is such a rare piece and yeah it's it's a crazy a crazy thing to know that I'm gonna be um letting her go this Friday <laughs> so um that is the last time you will ever see her grace my videos or my Instagram but I do actually have something to replace her. Um, and I will be purchasing that after I sell that one. And you guys are going to freak out when you see this sphere that I'm getting. <laughs> I'm, I've been eyeballing her for quite a long time now. And I finally got her. So, yay! Thank you guys. Bye!